National Educator. Today we have Agriculture for Grade 6. I will be your host, Wangoi Dirango. Our sign language interpreter is Velma Akinyi and our green thumb teacher is Mr. Kevin Muhia. Karibu sana. Thank you. Please tell us what we have today. Today, mm -hmm. in our agriculture lesson, mm -hmm. we are going to be looking at mm -hmm. the two types of soil erosion. Okay. Where we have, but before we go to that, mm -hmm. A fact okay. about soil conservation. Okay. Soil mm -hmm. conservation. Mm -hmm. Those are how many words? Two. Two. What do they mean? Okay. We have soil mm -hmm. and we have conservation. I think the trick is in the conservation. Okay. Where I'm thinking, preserving it, saving it, keeping it nice and, mm -hmm. you know, Dressing Usable, it well. dressing it well, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. Giving it some makeup. Yes, mm -hmm. a little lipstick over there. Okay. You know, a shadow over there, you know, just mm -hmm. making it nice. Looking it, making it look attractive. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe not attractive, mm -hmm. but at least well kept. Okay, well kept. Well kept. For example, you can say, it's making this soil productive. Yes. That is actually what it means. Okay. So when you talk about soil conservation, mm -hmm. How can we conserve this soil? Mm -hmm. How can we make this soil attractive? That is, it, is, it becomes productive. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot know the attractiveness or the productivity of, or, yeah, that attractiveness of mm -hmm. the soil unless you see the produce. Yes. So the production uh, or whatever it produces is the one that is going to tell you that soil has been has conserved. Been conserved well. It has been taken care of. Okay. It has been put some makeup. Yes. And when you talk about this makeup, mm -hmm. these things that are making it look attractive, mm -hmm. we call that manure. Okay. The manure that you put in the soil, mm -hmm. it is one of the ways that you make the soil become more productive. Okay. So we add manure mm -hmm. to the soil to make it fertile. fertile. Okay. If your soil is not fertile, mm -hmm. you usually find people add fertilizer. Yes. And... It is okay, mm -hmm. but when you talk about fertilizer, you know fertilizers, these are mostly chemicals. Chemicals, yes. And you have to put them mm. according to the... You cannot just... You cannot put a lot of it. Mm. You're going to damage the something called the pH of the soil. Okay. So you have to measure whatever you're putting in mm. your soil. But when you talk about this compost manure... Okay. You just add the manure. It mm -hmm. is there. It will not do any harm mm -hmm. to, the, to the soil because it's something called organic. It is organic. Okay. Organic is anything that is alive and can die. Okay. So it is alive and, and can dies. die. So, in short, organic matter mm. comes from living things. Okay. Are you together? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll come to that. Mm. So, we can use what we call compost manure, manure mm -hmm. to improve our soil fertility. fertility. Compost. Okay. The keyword is in? Compost. In compost. So what does compost mean? When you talk about compost, uh -huh. compost, we can say, let's use the word organic. Okay. Ask me what organic means. Uh, organic, what does organic mean? Organic means it is living. And it can die. And exactly it can die. Mm -hmm. Anything that is living? And can die. Can die. Mm. So for example, we have a maize plant. Mm -hmm. That maize plant is in the shamba. Yeah. Kakadogo grows, grows, grows. Mm. You harvest the maize. Mm. You leave that maize tree there. Mm -hmm. Where does it go? Mm. It decays. It decays. It withers. It so breaks it dies. off. It dies. Inarudi becomes the manure. Yes. That okay. top fat. 
the uh, top part of the, of soil, the soil, which okay. we call humus. Okay. You getting it now? Yes. So when you talk about compost, mm -hmm. we can make a very simple compost mm -hmm. heap at home. Okay. Very neat. Mm -hmm. It will not have uh, those bad odors. Mm -hmm. It will not dirtify your environment. Okay. And uh, where can we get this organic matter from to make a compost pit? Hmm. Remember we are talking about organic matter. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking peels. Okay. Yeah. Peels from fruits. From fruits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, those are some of the things I'm thinking maybe. Mm -hmm. So to guide you, mm -hmm. I have a diagram there. Mm -hmm. I want you to observe yes. some of the things that you can see there and get to identify them. Mm -hmm. So what can you see? I can see peels. Peels of... Uh, of bananas. Okay, there is the banana peel somewhere here. Yes. Okay. I can see rotting fruits. I can see grapes. Okay, are some those grapes? grapes. Yes. This is a banana here. There's a banana there. This is a watermelon. Oh, that's a watermelon. Mm -hmm. uh, this is some spinach. Yes. Or... Uh, like some vegetable, some type of vegetable. Some, yeah. Some I can coriander. see avocado over here. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So... When you see the, these are some of the things, mm. once you put them in a pit, mm. they are going to decay. Okay. They're going to rot. Yeah. Eventually, they're going to disintegrate mm. and they get into the soil. Yes. And they form that organic part, which mm -hmm. we call the, the compost mm -hmm. manure. Okay. So some of the things that you can use, mm -hmm. we have the kitchen waste. Okay. The kitchen waste. This is, for example, you are cooking, mm -hmm. you have the vegetables, maybe mm -hmm. you have your spinach, your, your kills. Mm -hmm. There is that part that you cut and, and throw, throw off. Away, yes. Don't just throw it away. Put it in a compost pit. Mm -hmm. Once you have gotten your compost pit, mm -hmm. put it there. Okay. You have your, maybe your leftover foods. Mm -hmm. You throw them there. Mm -hmm. They are still going to decay. Decay. Another one, we have talked about the fruit fields. Fruit fields you yes. gave us that example. Yeah. Then we have grass. Okay. Grass is living. Yes, it is. So once maybe you have mowed your lawn, mm -hmm. you take that grass, mm -hmm. put it in the compost heap. Oh, okay. It is going to eventually decay. Mm. Anything that is alive, even some of the here the animal waste. Okay. Once you go to you wash, uh, you wash the cow shed, you wash mm -hmm. the pig style, those, the rabbit hatch. Yeah. You just take it, mm -hmm. the root still in the compost pit. Okay. In the compost pit. Okay. And it is not a must you dig a compost pit. Mm -hmm. You can make one. Okay, how can I make one? For example, mm -hmm. you can make that one. Oh, wow. Okay. You can just make one. If mm -hmm. you don't have, you know, sometimes you may lack a lot of space yes. to dig it. Yes. You can just make one, mm -hmm. like that one. That was with wooden there. Yeah. You just put it on some, uh, at a certain corner. Mm -hmm. So you just be pouring your waste. And once it has uh, decayed, it mm -hmm. has uh, rotten, mm -hmm. you just come mm -hmm. and carry it to the shamba. Okay. And what are you going to use to carry it to the shamba? A wheelbarrow. Simple. A farm yeah. tool. Yeah, a farm tool. A wheelbarrow. Mm -hmm. You put it in, you take it to the shamba. Okay. You see? Yeah. And once you put it in the, in the soil, mm -hmm. the soil becomes fertile. Okay. And the production of that soil, my friend, fruits are going to flourish. Mm. The vegetables. The, okay. Just try it and you'll okay. see. Okay. Okay. Try it and you'll see. All right. So that is what we talk about soil conservation. Okay. Making the soil more productive. Mm -hmm. We're good on that? Yes, we're good on so that. So that was our today's fact. Okay. So we come to our lesson today. I told you we're going to compare two types of soil erosion. We have the first one. Mm -hmm. Tell me, which soil erosion is that? Um, this looks like real erosion. Real erosion. Why? Because Tell of the me channels. why you think this is real erosion? i um, thinking because of the channels that have been formed on the bare ground, mm -hmm. small channels of water, okay. and that is the water we call runoff water. Okay. Right? So you have talked about two things. Mm. You have talked about runoff water, mm -hmm. and you have talked about channels. Yes. Okay, let me write that down. Okay. Maybe we'll uh, talk about it later. Okay. We have the channels, mm -hmm. and we have the runoff. runoff. Okay. So when you talk about, you have said it's real erosion mm. because you can see the channels. Yes. And not just channels. Mm -hmm. We said they are shallow. Yes. Shallow channels. Shallow channels. Yes. If it gets very deep, mm -hmm. maybe it goes up to 30 centimeters. Mm, yeah, that's deep. 
Yeah, that's, that's like a whole ruler. Yeah, the downwards. 30 centimeter ruler. Yeah. So that is a shallow channel. channel. Those are real erosion. Okay. They are caused by runoff. Yes. Where we say runoff, this is flowing water. Flowing water. Mm. Okay, let's see if you're correct. Okay. And as you are. Yay! That is real. I'm correct. That is real, real erosion. erosion. Yes. Because of this, those shallow channels. Yes. If you look at that ground, I want us as well to talk about that ground. Mm. What is wrong with that ground? The first thing that I notice is that it has no cover crop. There is no cover crop. Yes. No, you're talking like a real agricultural officer. I tell you. Mm -hmm. All I need is a hat. Yes. Yes. And an overall, some gloves. Remember, uh -huh. when you're handling plants, yeah. or even when you're handling tools, mm -hmm. you have to wear what we call protective uh, clothing. Okay. You cannot just go into the farm mm -hmm. and start collecting plants anyhow. Oh. Some are poisonous. Hey, yeah. Some have thorns. They okay. can uh, pierce you. Okay. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Some, uh. usually, once you press them, uh. they produce very poisonous or very irritating Smell. smells, water that can get into your eyes. Yeah, I once experienced a plant that really made me itch. Yeah. Someone should have told me to wear gloves. You see? Sure, sure, it's your fault. No, it's like not hers. She has You should me have to. asked. But I, I do like her. You know, she goes in and she's such an expert and she does these things, pulling off and, you know, and doing things. Yeah, anyway. next time <laughs> tell her to wear protective clothes. I will buy some for her Get and her for some? myself. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Uh, not even a must you buy. Mm. You can improvise. How? You can. Mm -hmm. For example, I'll give you one improvisation. Mm -hmm. You want to wear an overall. Yes. It's not a must you go to the tailor, tell the tailor, I need the measurements of this overall. Yes. No, 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 no. You have sacks at home. Gunia? Yes. Okay. The gunias that usually put the grass and the, those things. Yeah. You just cut the head part where uh -huh. you're going to fit into your neck. Okay. And the hands. Then okay. you are going to protect this part of your body. Okay. Then you wear it. And then the hands are you Why are you looking me? at me as if... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you always tell me that in my, my hands now I can wear nylon paper instead of gloves. Yes. Okay. But remember, <laughs> since we are agricultural officers, mm. we don't uh, we don't so much advocate for, for nylon, nylon. Yes, because true. nylon cannot decay. DK. It is not organic. Yes. Even if you burn it, mm. it just creases yeah. and it stays there. It is not biodegradable. Exactly. Yes. So the same same sack, mm. you can get another sack, mm -hmm. cut some hands. Okay. Keep don't some more here. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> it's true. Okay, fine. I've had you. I'll see. I'll figure it out. It's true. I'll figure Actually, it out. Actually, go, don't make me go and make one and bring you one. Aki, can you? I'll, yes. Sawa. Tell so, you, next lessons, we'll see. Yes, in our next lesson, she's going to be wearing an improvised overall. Can I That's just a show promise. <laughs> no. Remember, you are the one doubting. Hi, let's proceed. All right. So, we are talking about the real erosion. Yes. This real erosion, in mm -hmm. this ground, yes. the ground is bare. Yes, it's There very is bare. no cover crop. Yes. What is this real erosion? Mm -hmm. The real erosion occurs mm -hmm. when runoff water flows away, forming shallow, shallow channels. channels. Yeah. Those metaros mm. that the water follows. Okay. We have said... Real erosion are shallow channels, channels. basically that. Okay. Those shallow channels that the runoff water mm -hmm. follows. Mm -hmm. And what causes it? Mm. It is caused by the runoff run water. water. Okay, we continue. That is an example of, a, of an aftermath. Yeah. When uh, the rain stops, the, uh, the runoff water has now already flown away. That is how the ground looks like. Mm. You can see it's n it's not something so attractive. Attractive, no, it's not. Because if you look, there is no, no organic matter. No. So meaning, is it fertile? No, it's not. So plant your passion fruit there. Is it going to give you any yields? No. No. So we have to be able to stop the the uh, this the erosion. Real erosion, yeah. If we really need to get, uh, we want to get our mm. to get our or good yields. Yes. Good produce. We have to. Avoid and stop 
and prevent these types of soil yes. erosion. Yes. We have the next one. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at that one. Mm. Identify that one. What is that? This looks like gully erosion. That is gully erosion? Yes. So it's different from the one we had before? Yes, it is. What is the difference? This one is much deeper and wider. Deeper and wider. Yeah. So the first one you said was real. Yeah. The second one you have said is gully. Gully. Gully erosion. Yeah. Why? You have said it is deeper, deeper and wider. Okay. Deeper and wider. Yes. As compared to the channels, the shallow channels that we had previously. Okay. Yeah. So are they channels? I think they're so channels. So these deep and wide things, are they yeah. channels? I think they were the channels that just went further into becoming bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to get you. Okay. So if we don't take care of our shallow channels okay. early enough, mm -hmm. I think they become deeper and wider, mm -hmm. hence the gully erosion. Because if it's continuous uh, rainfall or animal activity or human activity that happens, then we get the gully erosion. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. So you have said mm -hmm. the shallow channels, mm -hmm. if they are not taken care of, mm -hmm. they become deeper and wider. wider. And when they become deeper and wider, mm -hmm. they are what we are calling? A gully erosion. Gully erosion. Yes. And that is very correct. Yes. Because uh -huh. when you talk about gully erosion, yes. these are V-shaped. Yes. Or U-shaped. Shaped. Okay. They are V-shaped uh -huh. or U-shaped channels. Okay. And they happen to be mm. deep, deep. Okay. Channels. Okay. Remember, a channel, mm. it's that path followed by water. Mm. So when you talk about this one, real erosion, we mm -hmm. said it is the shallow channels. Mm -hmm. If you don't take care of these shallow channels, mm -hmm. they are going to become deeper and, and wider. wider. Okay. And the more they are becoming deeper, the more they are becoming wider, mm -hmm. you find mm -hmm. they have more effects. Yeah. And especially negative effects. Yes. We are going to look at effects maybe later on. Mm -hmm. The effects of these soil erosions. Okay. For example... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have said they become V-shaped or, or U-shaped. Mm. So you find, we have the next diagram. Look at it. Oh, is that, that is a positive scary. or a negative one? This is a very negative one. Because, now imagine you're the person living in this house here. Yeah. And um, uh, once, one day, it rains very heavily. Remember, the soil already has become loose. Mm. What would happen? That you house find is that going person, to fall into the valley. And it's, there's going to be a landslide. Yeah. It's going to slide down. Yeah. So those are some of the negative effects of this mm -hmm. gully erosion. Okay. So you find they are V-shaped or, or U-shaped. If you look at the diagram, those are, yeah, that's a V. You can see the letter V. Yeah. Because down there it's sharp mm. and then it widens yeah. on the ends. Okay. So for your assignment today, mm -hmm. get to know what are the difference there. For example, here we have the channels mm -hmm. and the channels so we have said this one of the similarities mm -hmm. little erosion gully Lyra erosion ocean. are channels mm -hmm. whereas these ones are shallow these, these ones are, are deep, deep. Mm. and they form the shape yeah v-shaped or or u-shaped depending with the wideness yes so mm. for your assignment mm -hmm. get to identify mm. the differences between real erosion mm -hmm. gully erosion okay similarities between real erosion and gully erosion. And gully erosion. Amazing. And as well, mm -hmm. try to prevent them. Okay. If they have happened, mm -hmm. try to prevent, prevent them. them. Okay. Plant cover crops mm -hmm. to prevent real erosion, mm -hmm. which will eventually become a gully. Mm -hmm. So if you prevent this, are you going to have this? No. 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 So prevent this. Okay. Remember, prevention is better than? Cure. Did you know that? Prevention mm. is better than cure. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Mr. Muhia. You're welcome. We have come to the end of our lesson today. I hope you've learned, just like I have. We were talking about the two types of erosions. We had the real erosion and the gully erosion. We have seen the differences and we have seen the similarities. But your assignment is to go and find out more of the differences and more of the similarities. Then again, we've also been told to find about to find out more on prevention that is better than 
cure mm-hmm. on how to uh, help ourselves recover from such. Identify areas that you can see that these kinds of erosion have occurred and see what you can do about them, like planting cover crops, mm-hmm. which we have grass and we have sweet potato and vines. And also trees. And trees yes. that are very, very important. So thank you so much. I have been your host, Tongo Indirango. Our sign interpreter has been Velma Akini, and our amazing teacher has been Mr. Muhia. We ask you to look at our social media platforms, follow us, comment, ask questions. We are on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. Find us at Edu TV Kenya. Until next time, it's goodbye. Educator.